Thinking and communication question. Evaluate limit when x approaches 4 for 2 minus square root x divided by 3 minus square root of 2x plus 1. This question is similar to the one which we did in the other video, right? But still, it has a twist in it. So, i like you to do it on your own. Copy the question and try to solve it on your own. And then, look into my suggestion. That will give you a lot of confidence, okay? So we'll follow the method of variable substitution here. So, how do we substitute? So, we'll work out substitution things here, right? Okay, so substitution. So what should we substitute? Now, complicated part in this equation is square root of 2x plus 1. So let's figure out what is this square root of 2x plus 1. Let us say let u equals to square root of 2x plus 1. So let's substitute 2x plus 1 square root with u. We need to find what square root x is in terms of u. Otherwise, we can't do about square root x. So, to find that, what can we do? So, we should square it first. Let's square it. So, we square it, we get u square equals to 2x plus 1. So, u square minus 1 equals to 2x and x equals to u square minus 1 over 2. But we want square root of x. Well, then in that case, square root x is equal to square root of u square minus 1 over 2 square root. Well, it does give you a function which doesn't really seem to be that simple. But what to do now? Let's work with this and try to see if it really resolves our problem. So it makes things complicated, right? It's not that simple a problem. Okay, so one part we have done, we have replaced x with u and we have got kind of similar situation. Anyway, let's say what happens to the limit. As x approaches 4, so we say as x approaches 4, what happens to u? So this is our u. So what u approaches? u approaches 4, we'll replace this with 4. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 1, 9, square root of 9, which is 3. So u approaches 3. So that is what we get here. So well, we've done our substitution part, and now let's do the algebra part of solving it. Okay, so let me write down this as in the form of u. So we have limit. Instead of x approaching 4, we have u approaching 3. Well, let me tell you one more thing before we go forward with this. Alternate method of this is to do rationalization, correct? So when we rationalize it, in this case, we might have to rationalize it two times. Rationalize both numerator and denominator. Rationalizing numerator by 2 plus square root x divided by 2 plus square root x and then denominator by 3 plus square root 2x plus 1. So that is also not a very simple situation, right? Therefore, we adopted this method. But you could do that alternate method of rationalizing both numerator and denominator. Okay, now let's begin, continue with our question. So we get 2 minus in the numerator, 2 minus, instead of square root x, I'm writing all this, which is u square minus 1 over 2 square root divided by 3 minus u. Denominator seems to be simpler. Well, that is the relief. Limit u approaches 3. Let's try to solve. This is square root 2. Let me bring it in the denominator. Okay. And then I have to multiply this with this 2. So I get 2 square root 2 minus square root of u square minus 1 divided by square root of 2 times 3 minus u. So this is what I get here. Now, how to simplify it further? Now you can see that 3 minus u could be written as so basically what we can do is 
we can rationalize it now. So at least we have avoided two rationalization. That seems to be an appropriate step to take at this moment. So we will rationalize it. I think that's a better way to do it. So we have a method here which we did substitution and also rationalization. I'm not sure whether this is the best way of doing it, but let's do rationalization of this now because I kind of uh, get into a situation which is not so simple. So let's rationalize this. That is saying that we'll have 2 square root 2 plus square root of u square minus 1. So we rationalize numerator, okay? divided by because that has a radical part and 2 square root 2 plus square root of u square minus 1. So we rationalize it. So once we rationalize we will expand it and at least simplify the numerator part. So we get limit u approaches 3 and in the numerator we expect a square minus b square. So a square is 2 square is 4 and square root 2 square is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So we get 8 here for this square. So we get 8 and square of this is 8 minus u square minus 1. That is the numerator part. And then we have something more in the denominator which is 3 minus 4 is minus, oh sorry it's not 3 minus 4, it is 3 minus u I think, right? 3 minus u. So it is square root of 2 times 3 minus, let me write u properly so that it doesn't get mixed up and we have all this here 2 square root 2 plus square root of u square minus 1 bracket close. So that is what we have. Now if we open the bracket in the top we get limit u approaches 3 and 8 minus minus 1 gives us 9. So we get 9 minus u square divided by all this denominator which is square root of 2 times 3 minus u. Square root of 2 square root 2 plus square root of u square minus 1. Okay. Now 9 minus u square gives me a factor of 3 minus u. So after a great struggle we finally managed to get a factor which could cancel out, right? So 9 minus u could be written as 3 minus u times 3 plus u, correct? And denominator we have square root of 2 times 3 minus u and then this bracket is 2 square root 2 plus square root of u square minus 1 bracket close. Now from here we can cancel 3 minus u and now we can substitute 3. So I'll do that part here in this limited space. I'm always running out of space. Now here we can write this as equal to we'll substitute straight. Okay, so let me write first. Limit u approaches 3 and we have 3 plus u in the numerator divided by square root 2 and within the brackets we have 2 square root 2 plus square root of u square minus 1. Correct. And now we can substitute u and see what do we get. So when we substitute 3 we get 3 plus 3 in the numerator and in denominator we have square root 2 and within bracket 2 square root 2 plus now if I write 3, you get 3 square minus 1, which is 10. So 3 square minus 1, which is 10. So let me write square root of 10. So that is what we get in the this part, uh, US 3. So we get, okay. So that gives us the answer, which is, uh, so let's, that's 6 over, so 2 times square root 2, 2 times 2 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4, so we get 4 plus square root 2 times this, that is square root of 20, 
square root of twin. Uh, sorry, this was 9. U, U is 3. So 3 square is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. So this is not 10 but 8. Yep. It makes sense now. So it is 8. U square is 3. 3 square is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8, right? Now when I multiply by square root 2, it becomes square root 16, which is 4. So this is now 6 over 4 plus 4, which is 6 over 8. And I can simplify this as dividing by 2, 3 over 4. So the limit of this function is 3 over 4. Well, we struggled a bit to get to this solution. And I think, if and I wish, a better approach would have been to rationalize two times. We did rationalize once, right? So, so we could have rationalized this with 2 plus square root x and also with 3 plus square root 2x plus 1 and probably got faster way to reach here. But anyway, try that method on your own. Uh, so this is what we get as the limit of this function. Thank you.